Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video for our Linux users who are using Firefox, which I know um, we have a couple of Linux users who do view this channel from what I see in the comments. And if you are using Mozilla Firefox on Linux, Mozilla has recently updated its packaging format for Firefox on Linux. And this is the article where that was announced, which I'll leave um, linked down below if you want more info where they have announced they are moving from .tar.bz2 to .tar.xz packaging. And what the switch means is that um, it uses the LZMA compression algorithm, which apparently results in smaller download sizes, up to 25% smaller, according to this article. And it gives you faster decompression times, improves installation efficiency and so on so yeah we've got smaller downloads fast installation enhanced compatibility and there's no action required from current users which i think is a good news now just a bit of brief background here um according to this post the .tar.xz format is widely supported across modern linux distributions as you may well know which um, gives it compatibility while saving bandwidth that's why we can get uh, the the faster decompression times and the actual download size is 25% smaller. And current users, as mentioned, won't need to take any action as Firefox will continue updating as usual, which I think is good. But just take note though, the new format is now available at first for Firefox nightly users, which is the early preview version of the browser. And will roll out according to the article to the beta and release channels in the coming weeks. So just put it out there for our Linux users. And if you want to download the the packaging for Firefox Nightly for the um the new format, there is a link on that page, as I mentioned. You can go just go check that article out. It'll be linked down below. But there we go. Um you can expect faster decompression times and faster installation now of Firefox and downloads according to that article if you are using the browser on Linux. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.